Assalamu alaikum welcome to my channel code seekers in this video i will be discussing how to transfer data from form 1 to form 2 there were many students who were contacting me regarding this topic they were having problem in transferring data from one form 1 to form 2 means from one form to another in c sharp windows form application so i thought i should make a video on it there are many methods to transfer data from one form to another but there, in this video I will be discussing two of them. One is using the parametric constructor in form 2 and pass values to it from form 1. The other method is using the static variables in form 1 and then access them in form 2. I will be transferring data from data grid view of form 1 to combo box of form 2. So let's start. I have created a project in C Shop Windows form application. Now uh, as I discussed I will be transferring data from grid view in form 1 to the combo box of form 2. So we need a data grid view in form 1. Let's add grid view. Adding add some columns in it. One is ID. They are just samples from where I will be transferring data. You can edit them according to your requirements. Product name. We need a button. Drag it from the toolbox. On this button click, we will be moving to form 2 and transferring data from the grid view to the, form, uh, the combo box of form 2. So let's first change the text of this button transfer data now before we code we need to add another form in our project for that purpose right click on the project go to add add windows form Form 2 has been added in the project. Now we need a combo box in this form. Here is the combo box in which I will be transferring data. So now let's code. First of all, I will be using parametric constructor in form 2 to uh, get the data of the from the form 1 to the form 2. Uh, let's create a parametric constructor in form 2. Actually, when the user will click on transfer data button, I will traverse through the second column of the grid view that is product name and will add all the product names in the list that will be of stream type and then I will uh, pass that list as a parameter to the form too. So let's start coding now.
So you learn how we can transfer data from one pump to another using the parametric constructor. Now I will show you how we can transfer data from one pump to another using the static variables. Let's start coding now. Hopefully this video have helped you in learning something new. You can visit my channel to watch my more videos like how to make screen recorder in C Sharp Windows from application, how to extract text from PDF files in C Sharp, how to extract text from pictures in, PDF, in C Sharp Windows from application, how to highlight rows in this view, and how to make a statistics calculator, how to make a scientific calculator, etc. Thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and watch more videos on C++ and C Sharp.